video we will see how to convert an HTML7 message to an output format for example JSON, XML etc. We have the previous channel that we used for HTML7 passing. Let's clone it. We have the clone option here in Merge Connect that duplicates the channel. Let's name it HL7 conversion. Let's save it. Let's go to the source. Same thing as we did for the HL7 parsing. Let's create a new step and see how we're gonna convert HL7 fields to JSON objects, for example. For this step, the type JavaScript to have the ability to write JavaScript code. To convert the HL7, we had already the fields parsed from the message trees. We need to create a new object, JSON object. Let's name it JSON object, or to be specific, HL7 JSON object. Let's initialize it with an empty object. And here we are free to choose the keys in this object. So let's name, for example, the first key, the first name, HL7 JSON object dot first name, for example. And we will give it the value of the first name from the message series. So we have the family name, the given name. So the first name is the given name. Let's do the same thing for the other uh, key values. For example, the last name and the date of birth. Here, the, the last name, let's change that, just the number here, 51, the ID 51 is the last name. And for the date of birth, we have the date of birth where in the PID 71, PID 71. So PID here 7 and here PID 71. We can do also a little formatting here for this date of birth. For example, we can convert it from the from this format to this format, for example, to my SQL format. Let's use uh, moment.js. It's a JavaScript library for date formatting, managing dates. To use moment.js library in Merge Connect, let's import it from edit code templates. So here we have the ability to create a new library Let's create first new code template. Let's name it moment.js. Here we can copy past the code of the library. Let's download moment.js. Let's copy past the code. We will use the extended code, but I recommend using compressed uh, code base. So we are good to go. Let's go back to our channel here. Let's name this step, for example, conversion. We will have moment, the date, of course. The input format, which is the years, month, and day. And we will format it to the output format, which is MySQL format, with dashes. Let's publish this JSON to the channel map, the name of the variable, for example. And the value would be, of course, our variable. And we could use it in the destination sections. Let's save the channel. Let's go back to destinations. Here we have our object. In this step, just log this uh, variable. Let's disable this destination to not execute the insert query. 
So after disabling the second destination, Merge Channel will only execute the first one. Let's deploy now. Okay, so we have an error. Let's see what's let's see what's the error. Let's change it to 6662 to avoid the error message already in use. Okay, let's send the message again. Our merge channel could not recognize. By the way, the uh, one library could contain lots of uh, GS code, and we forgot to link the library to the channel that we want to use in. So here we, we have the channel HTL7 conversion. Let's link it to this library, and here we are good to go. Let's save the changes. Let's deploy our channel. Here we have the first name and last name, and we have guest date of birth, process message, and here we are fine. So the message is sent. Let's see the logs. Okay, our JSON object. So it's well parsed. You can see that the the date of birth is formatted with the MySQL format. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will see more features with Merge Connect. Mm -hmm.